Welcome to ULABO. This is Question Mark. Today I would like to discuss tubing and insulation. So I'd like to show you a couple of examples. Here we have two refrigerated heating circulators at minus 30 degrees C. This one we have uninsulated rubber tubing and you can see it has turned into Frosty the Snowman. And mind you, it's not humid today. There's clear sky, low humidity. So you can imagine that if you have an application and you have 10 or more feet of tubing that's not insulated, you're going to have a lot of ice formation. But more importantly, that this has lost cooling power and capacity to your application. Right? So plus then if you were to heat this up, this is going to melt and make a big mess in your lab. Now conversely, if you are at high temperatures, you can't tell from looking at it that it's hot, but you could have a potential contact hazard if someone touches that tubing. So contrast that to this tubing, which is our triple insulated tubing which is rated uh, down to minus uh, 90 degrees C up to 300 degrees C. And there's no condensation whatsoever. So this is maximizing the cooling power or heating power of your circulator, minimizing any loss to atmosphere. So you get optimal performance from an insulation perspective with this type of tubing. So keep that in mind when you're putting together an application. Uh, you know, if you do have rubber tubing, be sure to put some type of insulation over that. If you have any questions about tubing, tubing combinations, please DM us or give us a call. Thank you.